Welcome back. This is lesson 49 in our Free Code Camps HTML and CSS section. Today's lesson is override class declarations by styling ID attributes. So we just proved the browsers read CSS from top to bottom. That means that in the event of a conflict, the browser will use whichever CSS declaration came last. But we're not done yet. There are other ways that you can override CSS. Do you remember ID attributes? Let's override your pink text and blue text classes and make your H1 element orange by giving the H1 element an ID and then styling that ID. Give your H1 element an ID attribute of orange text. Remember IDs look like this. So they go inside our opening tag. Leave the blue text and pink text classes on your H1 element. Create a CSS declaration for your orange text ID in your style element. Here's an example of what this looks like. And then they show that that would be inside our style. Since it is an ID, it does use the hash symbol. And then we put inside the braces um, the style that we want to do. So it says no. It doesn't matter whether you declare the CSS above or below pink text class since ID attributes will always take precedence. So your H1 element should have the class pink text, which it does. Should have blue text class, which it does also. But now it's telling us give your H1 element the ID of orange text. So in here, this is like it said, it doesn't matter if it's before or after. We just would do ID equals and we're making it orange text then it says create a css declaration for your orange text id so up here in our style it says it doesn't matter where it goes so we could just put it under the blue text or just to make sure that it doesn't matter where it goes let's put it at the top so we will use hash symbol and then we need to put what did we call it orange text so orange text and then our code goes in here and what we want is h1 element should be orange so color orange and as you can see, it did change this to orange, regardless if it was at the top of our style tag, because ID tags take precedence over all other, over the other classes we have. So your H1 element should be orange. Now all our challenges seem to be satisfied. Let's test this. Woohoo. 